The National Center for Image Guided Therapy, or NCIGT, serves as a national resource for all aspects of research into medical procedures enhanced by imaging, with the goal of providing more effective patient care. Based at the Brigham and Women's Hospital and Harvard Medical School in Boston, the NCIGT is led by Drs. Ferenciolis and Claire Timpany and includes the work of more than 100 physicians, scientists, and technical staff members. The NCIGT provides a unique centralized infrastructure for promoting and advancing image-guided therapy methods and focuses on a multimodality and multidisciplinary approach in developing innovative image-guided intervention technologies, thus enabling less invasive clinical treatments that produce better patient outcomes and are cost-effective. The computation core of the NCIGT provides the computing infrastructure advancements and expands into the image-guided therapy community. NCIGT surgical planning and navigational platform is the open source 3D slicer, which provides high performance computing and efficient and effective medical image analysis, specifically in image-guided therapy. Investigators, users, and developers can find extensive documentation and support materials online, including downloadable datasets allowing investigators to actively engage with the user and developer communities. In the guidance core, the Slicer platform is used to develop and clinically validate image-registered endoscopic ultrasound to improve accuracy as well as develop new applications. 3D models are created from pre-operative CT images using semi-automatic segmentation techniques, structures such as the kidneys, pancreas, liver, spleen, among other organs, and lesions such as tumors are segmented to create the augmented reality environment. After the patient is registered to the image, the endoscope can be tracked in real time and overlaid with the 3D models to provide real-time guidance of the endoscope within the retroperitoneum. The general goal of the imaging group is to exploit the development of hybrid imaging sequences and to make these methods available as a resource for enhancing MRI-guided therapy applications, in particular MRI-based monitoring of thermal therapies. This is very challenging when tumors are in organs like the liver that are in constant motion. The imaging group is developing special fast MRI techniques for treatments in moving organs. The movement of the vessels can be used to track motion and adjust the ultrasound beam. At the same time, the fast MRI, which is heat sensitive, can be used to make special temperature maps that tell the surgeon how much the temperature is being raised. For treatment of atrial fibrillation, RF ablation is used to isolate the atrium from the pulmonary vein. Here, an MRI-compatible electrophysiology ablation catheter is creating circumferential lesions about the pulmonary vein osteum. Thermal ablation treatments benefit from multimodality imaging and image processing for clear visualization of the target and for monitoring heating and freezing in both 2D and 3D. Currently, the main application of focused ultrasound remains thermal ablation, where tumors can be ablated completely and non-invasively and the procedure monitored with MRI. These images were taken after MRI-guided focused ultrasound ablation of a uterine fibroid. A particularly promising target for focused ultrasound is the use of thermal ablation to treat brain tumors. These MR temperature maps acquired during the first clinical testing of transcranial MR-guided focused ultrasound and a patient with a brain tumor demonstrate its feasibility. In addition to ablation, focused ultrasound can be used non-ablatively to temporarily disrupt the blood-brain barrier, which prevents most drugs from entering the brain. These images are from our ongoing tests of this technique and a primate model. In conclusion, MRI-guided focused ultrasound has the potential to revolutionize disease treatment, including but not limited to the ablation of benign and malignant tumors, as well as the non-ablative targeted delivery of therapeutic agents. The prostate group is dedicated to improving the diagnosis and treatment of prostate cancer using image guidance. Having established MRI-guided prostate biopsies and brachytherapy, we now extend this work to a closed-bore 3T MR environment and leverage robotic devices. Illustrated here are detailed multiparametric MRI sequences obtained and analyzed prior to biopsy. At the time of biopsy, these are registered with the interprocedural images. 
Targeted biopsies and individual core samples are obtained from focal areas of abnormality detected on any of the multiple sequences or pharmacokinetic maps acquired prior to biopsy. Thus, we can now, for the first time, obtain site-specific pathological results based on T2-weighted and diffusion-weighted or MR perfusion sequences. This will allow us to improve the diagnostic yield of focal samples, avoid saturation biopsies, and allow for direct pathological validation of the individual MRI parameters. The Neurosurgery Group is working on translational research to improve neurosurgery for patients with brain tumors. We have developed approaches which harness advanced multimodal imaging techniques, such as functional MRI and diffusion tensor imaging, to show the surgeon critical brain structures and their relationship to the planned surgical target. We also work to develop ways of presenting intraoperative information to support surgical decision making in the OR. Since its inception in 2005, the NCIGT has established a portfolio of clinical and research activities at Brigham and Women's Hospital and has provided local, regional, national, and international researchers with access to these capabilities through collaborations, service, training, and dissemination activities. As we move towards a multidisciplinary and multimodality approach, we will expand our technology research from one imaging modality, namely MRI, to include multiple modalities. As such, Amigo, our advanced multimodality image-guided operating suite, features high-field MRI, PET-CT, ultrasound, X-ray fluoroscopy, optical imaging, and mass spectrometry. This will allow for expansion of methodologies for planning, delivery, and monitoring of image-guided therapies, including new algorithms, new software components, and new intraoperative monitoring methods. Furthermore, the unique on-site cyclotron and a radiochemistry research group will open the door for the use of molecular probes in image-guided therapy in the OR. It is NCIGT's vision to establish image-guided therapy as the method of choice for clinical applications and improve the technological capabilities available today for practitioners of image-guided therapy. This will allow for a complete personalized multimodality and multidisciplinary approach to patient care. Through support from the National Center for Research Resources and the National Institute of Biomedical Imaging and Bioengineering, the NCIGT is helping to implement this vision and serve as a proving ground for some of the next generation of medical therapies.